Okay, so this is me with a Nintendo Wii U from the uh, basically Middle East and Southeast Asia version. I ordered it from Amazon and I've been trying to do a lot of research on whether this will work or not and I get conflicting stuff. I've gone to Reddit, GameFAQs, Amazon, and even personal friends online who have stated that um, one guy that he's, uh, some of his copies and imports were from this area, basically Super Robot Wars, and he played it. But I believe that's for PSP, but I'm not necessarily sure for the Wii, or at least I'm not double checking. So it looks fully sealed, nothing too fishy, but I don't necessarily have an eye for these things. So I'm going to open it up and see how it is. I am conflicted. I am conflicted about that because basically everybody says, you know, it's... Well, the good I have heard is that this isn't necessarily region locked. These areas use NTSC, which is the same for the United States and Japan. And uh, it really doesn't matter. The only like downside is a different cover, if I'm a collector for that type of deal. And that I cannot get um, any Nintendo points from it. So here we have uh, some information about cont service stuff for Malaysia, Singapore, United Emirates States, uh, UAE, and Saudi Arabia, which seems to be pretty standard. Um, how to see the manual, and the actual game. And the game is... Lit it doesn't look like a bootleg or whatever. But the thing is, like I said, it's, it's the internet, so I can't, you know, so any bad critiques can just be people attempting to troll or whatever. The actual ID, let's see if it can zoom in properly. Focus, not doing. But the product ID right here is MDE0, red set of United States or Japan. So let's pop this out. Let's see. Brand spanking new. But now, let's see if it works on the Wii. Or I should say the Wii U. <clears throat> Alright, disc is being inserted. Let's see how this goes. I'll get a good shot. Um, kind of, sort of, not really. Uh, amateur hour, I know. Alright, so let's start. Preparing update. Probably have to clear stuff since I have my disk is full. I've not decided what hard drive I want, so let me cut this out or include it. Okay, and we're back. Maybe. No, don't go to sleep. Let's see if we have enough space. For video editing, probably a fast forward would be better because then it doesn't show that I like, oh, I 
Um, you know what? I just want to start the software. We can do this in the background. Because I just want to see and kind of play test this, but like I'm at a disadvantage because everything is spoiler territory and everybody's like, savor, enjoy this, blah blah blah. Okay, so I'm going to presume it's loading. Loaded. Tap here to play on the gamepad only. Start. Nintendo presents. Oh, so sad. Legend of Zelda. So really I should be having the eyes closed going la 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 la, I'm not paying attention and just mashing buttons until I get to like pass a tutorial or whatever. Okay. Yada yada. La la la. Okay, so I'm going to seem, assume that this is just normal open cutscene. Let's fast forward to possibly actual gameplay. Like walking around. No each huge bugs or glitches or anything. Okay, there's a run. Interact. Okay, there is a jump. I will, I'm so used to playing Guild Wars 2 that I anticipate a jump, but like, oh, this is a Zelda game. He can't even jump. To the point that Toad Tracker actually was going to be a Zelda game originally in its concept. It's like, because Zelda can't, or Link cannot jump. But then it's like, oh, it's easy. We'll make it back to Mario style, but we'll just... Give him a heavy backpack, and that's why he can't jump. Okay, so this is fine, I think. Interact here. In the opening tutorial. It looks like a freaking tablet. Tablet device, I mean. Sonar sensor tutorial. Ah, open our first chest. Old shirt. Open inventory. And we're gonna go on the buff.
Okay, so I'm going to consider this, uh, print, well, actually, let's use some menu stuff. Mm, time to first pot destruction. Oh, it's a barrel, it's not a pot. Anyway, okay, so this seems to be working. Okay, so maybe somewhere out there in the net land will appreciate this video, at least for testing purposes, or at least evaluating their um, their own various uh, purchases. So it does seem that here, let's see, you know, these, um, this region, quote-unquote version of Nintendo is legit official product um, so forth for these markets and whatnot because Southeast Asia or at least is it Southeast yeah Southeast Asia is a, a big deal you know yeah. is a big market and in fact I learned from trivia it was through Southeast Asia and Malaysia that we learned about Dark Souls uh, because people kept importing it from there Alright, so until next time, I am T-Row, and have fun gaming. See ya!